All right, welcome to back day. I forgot my tripod. It was stupid. I left it at home. But um, Lou had to come early, so no food other than a Rice Krispie treat and a Powerade for electrolytes before the workout. So hopefully it still goes well. Do not have my tripod, so we're doing eight sets total for back. I'm gonna have Lou record one of each exercise, so there'd be four sets. So, sorry that it's not gonna be as much working out, but I don't have my tripod, and I feel bad making Lou record the whole workout. So, gonna be half of it for today. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Yes, sir. So Lou is amazing and he said he wants to record all the sets, so shout out Lou. But um what's it called? Now on to a high to low row. Two sets. Like I was saying, we're doing eight sets total. Will you tilt it? Like you have me crooked. <laughs> Hold a set. Thank you. I thought you went to film school. Or like no, film in high school or whatever. School. Film in high school, whatever. But <laughs> but um but uh, two sets for this, two sets for everything, eight sets total. Really trying to go for that lower to mid back area, getting a nice squeeze on there, not going too heavy. But um, I guess I won't use straps for this one. My wrist was feeling good, surprisingly, so I don't think I need straps. <laughs> T-bar row, You're gonna take a picture of my ass now? <laughs> Sorry. T-bar row, two sets, obviously. Trying to make it as heavy as possible without fucking up the wrist. So, we'll see how that goes. Got three plates on here. Someone stole my fucking Versa grips. So now I have to use my regular straps. Pissed about that. Careful with the weight, dude. I am, I am. Crazy in on that one. Oh. 
Last exercise for back. Straps are important for this one because it hurts the wrist. But uh, still not trying to go super heavy because of the wrist, obviously. And this is a movement where if I'm not feeling it properly, it's just gonna be a waste of time. So, can't go crazy heavy. <clears throat> Stop singing into the mic. <laughs> Is it on? All right. Only gonna show you two sets of rear delts, but we're hitting five sets. Stop dancing with the camera. Can you stop dancing for two seconds, bro? <laughs> oh my God. Bro. I have my camera like balancing on top of a bottle since I don't have a tripod. So sorry about that. Thank you. 
All right, very solid pump. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna keep saying it every day. Baking soda. Look, uh, some people have been like, oh, baking soda, isn't that shit you used to clean? Oh, I opened it upside down. But if you look right there, it says cooking and baking. So it's edible. One teaspoon a day, don't go over that. It's all you need. The pumps are fantastic whenever you add the baking soda in. I'm telling you. It, literally every single person so far throughout the past few days of handing everyone baking soda, every single person has said, best pump of their life. So get on the baking soda grind, to say the least. Because it has your electrolytes, because it has salt, and it has starch. And the starch, you know how your muscles will start to burn? That's called lactic acid. That's the reason it's burning. The, the starch inside of the baking soda, guess what that does? Reduces lactic acid. You can do more reps if you have the baking soda. Definitely suggest it. I, I literally, one teaspoon. I just fill this little spoon kind of to the brim. It's about a teaspoon. You know what I mean? I don't go over that. So, get on the baking soda. But, I don't know if Lou did a great job of filming. We'll see. I'm sorry if the angles are a little weird or he's sh shaking it because he's dancing. It pisses me off, bro. <laughs> Can you just stop dancing for two seconds? It's not that serious. But, um... I have been eating bananas out the fucking ass because I'm so hungry and I can't leave just yet. Um, my boss is getting food from Kroger so I can't leave because I got a cover for him. But um, he's gonna bring me some chicken back from Kroger, $5 chicken from the deli. So I'm definitely gonna get a good amount of protein, at least the minimum 50 that we need for one meal but I think I'm gonna be able to get like 100 grams of protein out of it. So, I like that. Um, so yeah, I'm literally, how many do I have left? Two? So that means I've eaten four bananas already, because I'm starving. Need the bananas for potassium. If your body does not have potassium, it is gonna use up the salt in your body. Most important electrolyte. So, make sure that you're having your potassium I need to get on my magnesium, bro. Because magnesium is also one of the things that you need for electrolytes. I need magnesium pills. You need your sodium, potassium, magnesium. What? How do you get magnesium naturally? I don't even know. I'm going to have to search this up. I'll figure it out. But, um, yeah. Got nothing else to really say. Oh, I measured my arms after the back day. Um... 18 with a very with a little pump from the back day the residual bicep work that's the only pump i got so yeah the residual bicep pump from back day and that's the only um pump from back day so not too much added to the measurements from the pump i'll get a uh, a flat no pump reading or measurement probably like tomorrow or some shit we have arm day. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hopefully I remember. But I will take a measurement before and after and with the baking soda, see what the difference is. I bet it's gonna be huge. But um, yeah, back day went really well actually. I had a great back pump. Like I was walking around just feeling like a two barn doors wide. You know what I mean? <laughs> I felt great. Um, definitely like the, uh, the two sets over the three, just because if I do three sets for four exercises, first off, that's 12 reps and that's above the eight that we want. I try not to go over eight because, you know, I'm going pretty fucking hard on all of them. So my, I'm probably fatiguing my muscles too much if I'm doing more than those eight sets. If I was someone who left, you know, reps in the tank or some shit like that, then I'd probably do 12 sets, maybe even 15, depending. I don't know. It would, it would depend on how hard I go. So, yeah, but 
my body, I can feel when I've done too much. There's at a certain point, and that's about eight sets for me at least, that anything past that, I'm just like exhausted and the sets aren't that good. So that's why I've been doing two sets for the four exercises. But um, yeah, my camera's about to die, so I gotta charge that. So I'll see you at the next meal. All right, so first meal of the day. I do have two pre-made meals that the, that I need to warm up, but the smoothie bar isn't just open yet. So, had to get some, some warm food since I need a microwave and the smoothie bar isn't open. I need the microwave. Kroger, look at that, $5 flat. Where's the $5 flat, bro? Fuck, for all this chicken. You can either get it baked or fried. That was feeling like a fried chicken type of day. So, oh my God, it's so crispy. I can't wait to eat this shit. Minimum 50 grams of protein right here. So good for one meal. So uh, yeah, I will see you at the next meal. All right. Second and third meal of the day. I just got two containers of that chicken and rice shit that my mom made. It's like some type of chicken and rice concoction. I have no clue how it's put together. There's like a little bit of crisp to it or something. Tastes fucking amazing. So super excited to eat this shit. Don't know how much protein's in it because it's not like I can scale it out. So you only need six grams, I mean six ounces of chicken to uh, get 50 grams of protein. So I think I'll be fine. All I need is a protein shake whenever I leave here and we'll be chilling on the protein. Um, I don't know. I got nothing else to say. So I'll see you at the next thing. All right. So I don't know this video. Like I haven't been too talkative and like I, uh, I did my workout so early that I haven't even thought about working out for hours and hours and hours. So I'm not really like in the mental model to like speak wisdom to you guys. So um, what should I do? I should have thought about this. Uh, quick back day tip since it was back day. Um, a lot of people don't, this is literally off the dome. So sorry if it's not a lot, but um, most people don't understand the back. So I like to like the muscles and how they work and everything. A lot, most other muscle groups are a lot simpler, but back, most people don't understand it. So here is a simple way of how I think of back. Vertical pulls up and down for lats. Horizontal pulls like this for thickness of the back. So up and down, width. This way, horizontally for thickness. So you need an uh, even mixture of both to be able to be as wide and as thick as possible. And what else? Something else for back. Um, the number one thing for me, at least when it comes to back, a proper warm up, definitely. Because I have horrible mind muscle connection with my back. So if I don't have a proper warm up, my back day will not be nearly as effective. So that's why I like to start with push downs. Push downs just prime my back perfectly. So that's why I start with that. But uh, anything else for back? What is a good back day tip? Not, not just a back day tip, but a workout tip in general. Don't worry about what's optimal. Worry about improving your intensity every single workout. Because that's the one thing. Like learning information won't come to you instantly. You can't learn it every single day. But what you can do every single day to, well, to copy Greg Doucette, push harder than last time. You can always try 1% better every day because 
1% better every day. Or 1% more intensity every day. It means that at the end of a year, you are 365% better at pushing yourself in the gym. So i rather you focus on improving your intensity than learning all the optimal scientific backed research that and all that bullshit you know what i mean but uh yeah i really have to go so uh thank you so much for watching back day i'll see you tomorrow for arms second best day of the week arms and uh, i just picked up a protein shake that too i'll see you <laughs>